Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion insight again. And this morning, I want to share with you a disciplined tongue. A disciplined tongue. And my scripture is found in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19. It says, He who holds his tongue is wise. He who holds his tongue is wise. You know, uh, there, there are many things that we can speak and there are also many things that we can actually don't speak. And, um, you know, and the tongue is, is one area of our lives, one organ in our lives, which is very difficult to control, very difficult to discipline. And so that's why even in James, it says that, you know, the tongue, though it may be small, it can spark a world of fire. So here we want to learn uh, how or why we should control and discipline our tongue. Because when we learn to control and discipline our tongue, in fact, it will be a great uh, uh, encouragement to us. It will be a great benefit to us, you know, so that when we, when we are in uh, crowds of people or when, when we rise up to speak or when the things that we want to convey, uh, it will be out of a disciplined tongue that we are speaking. You know, there was once an advice uh, from an anonymous poet who wrote, a poet who wrote, you know, if your lips would keep from slips, Five things observe with care of whom you speak, to whom you speak, of and how, and when, and where. You know, that means there are five things we need to observe of whom you and I are speaking about, to whom we speak, and how, and when, and where we are speaking. So a wise person, just as Proverbs 10, 19 says, a wise person holds his tongue. Uh, a wise person has a disciplined tongue. Many of us need to learn this. All of us, including myself, we need to learn this for like the old, like the tongue, you know, the in, like the tongue in old shoes, our tongue is often the last thing to be worn out. You know, that means our tongue will continually, we will babble, we will talk unnecessary, we may say things that are just absurd, we are just making comments that are unnecessary, you know, we may be foul mouthed, we may be just be, you know, uh, 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 push, pushing our opinions, and then etc. and etc. So if a disciplined tongue is what we need, we need to ask God to help us because. That's why the scripture says, he who holds his tongue is wise. So he who holds his tongue is wise, but how are we to hold our tongue? It's when we submit our tongue to the Lord. It's when we submit our speech to Him. It's when we submit our being to Him. And we say, God, help me, hold it back. You know, give me self-control. Give me the ability to know how to say it right and how to not and refrain from speaking. So God to God is to help us for an undisciplined tongue is an unloving tongue. An undisciplined tongue is an unloving tongue. I'm sure you and I wouldn't want to be, you know, in a crowd of people where people are just, you know, they are just people who are not disciplined in their tongue. They just want to say whatever. They just want to hurt people. They just want to criticize. They just want to say it out and uh, feel that, you know, the importance of just making a statement. So this morning, let us pray like this. It says, Father, I realize that sometimes my tongue is the most difficult thing to bring under control. Yet, I have promise, I have the promise of your help even in this. Amen. God promises that he can help us. I give you my tongue to be bridled. Take over the reins. Huh? In Jesus' name, I pray. So this morning, let us tell ourselves that as we listen to this the little devotion, that we will say, Lord, let me discipline my tongue. If my tongue is always getting wild, if my tongue is always speaking you know, nonsense, if my tongue is always critical and unkind, then Lord, let me hold my tongue so that I will be considered among the wise. Amen. God bless you and may you have a great week.